हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू रिगार्डिंग फ्यू ऑफ द कॉमनली यूज न्यूमोनिक्स इन फिजियोथेरापी वी नीड टू नो अबाउट द न्यूमोनिक्स टू रिमेंबर मैनी ऑफ द टेक्निक्स अप्रोचेज इन सिक्वेंस एंड टू रिप्रोड्यूस इट इन अ प्रॉपर वे इन केस ऑफ द वाइवा बॉस एग्जाम और इन केस वेन वी आर ट्रीटिंग द पेशेंट वेन वी वॉन्ट टू रिकॉल और कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन इंडिकेशन टेक्निक्स एक्सेट्रा एट दैट टाइम सो माई फर्स्ट न्यूमोनिक्स फॉर टूडे इज जनरल पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव मैनेजमेंट सो रिमेंबर जनरल पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव मैनेजमेंट बाई द न्यूमोनिक्स कॉल्ड ए बी सी डी आफ्टर हियर यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ए स्टैंड्स फॉर एयरवे बी स्टैंड्स फॉर ब्रीदिंग सी स्टैंड्स फॉर सर्कुलेशन डी स्टैंड्स फॉर थ्री थिंग्स दैट इज योर ड्रग्स डिसेबिलिटी एंड द डी बी टी एंड नाउ आफ्टर ए एफ टी ई आर ए फॉर एनालजेशिया एफ फॉर फ्लूड टी फॉर टेम्परेचर Uh, e for endocrine function that means your blood sugar and r means recovery site mainly from the intensive therapy unit let's go to the another mnemonics that is for the cpr cardiopulmonary resuscitation so bls basic life support acls advanced cardiac life support and pls prolonged life support bls it can be broadly you know sub classified as abc that means airway breathing and circulation ACLS, DEF, drugs, ECG and fibrillation, and PLS, prolonged life support, GHI, that means your gauging, human mentation and intensive care. The third mnemonic is mnemonics is applicable to all the branches of physiotherapy. Whenever we are treating any of the patient and we want to set the goal for the physiotherapy management, it should be always smart. The goal should be specific. M for measurable, A for achievable, R for realistic, and T for time. Now this is very important mnemonics in the clinical practice. Whenever you want to give uh, postural drainage to any of your patient, you must know about the contraindications, rule out the contraindications, and then give the treatment. So the mnemonics is H raised to four, P square, toes, and fa. So four times H, two times P, then toes. Okay, and fa. so h stands for head injury hiatus hernia severe hypertension severe hemoptysis p square p stands for pulmonary edema p stands for peritoneal dialysis toes it stands for tension pneumothorax esophagectomy eye operations and surgical emphysema and fa it stands for facial edema and aortic aneurysms i remember this by h raised to 4 p square toes means your toes and the fa is one of the uh, deodorant brand here in india so you can remember very easily the postural drainage uh, mnemonics h raised to 4 p square toes and fa let's go to the another mnemonics that is lung volumes and capacities so most of the time i found that okay students are aware about the different volumes and capacities but they confused in which sequence you have to remember and what is the normal value for each lung and the volumes so i have make it very simple to uh, remember it in a sequence that is with the tire t i e r we have a second and a three tire uh, sleeper coach in the indian railways okay so based on that remember tire t i e r it's not t y R E it is T I E R. So T stands for tidal volume. I stands for inspiratory reserve volume. E stands for expiratory reserve volume, and R stands for residual volume. So this is about the volumes. Lung capacities you can remember it by the mnemonics called I V F T. I V line which you can see it on the patient, and I F T. Okay, like that you can remember I V F T. I stands for inspiratory capacity. V stands for vital capacity, F stands for functional residual capacity, and T stands for total lung capacity. So lung volumes and capacity, tire and IVFT. It will help you to remember the sequence of the volumes and capacities, and you will not forget any of the lung volumes and capacities. Next is for the diseases of the artery, which we come across in a uh, peripheral vascular disease so you can remember it by the mnemonics called bar one it is one of the chocolate brand chocolate you can uh, purchase it from the market here bar one so here b stands for burgess disease a stands for aneurysm a stands for arteriosclerosis and a stands for renault's disease so these are the five main uh, arterial disease burgess disease aneurysm atherosclerosis arteriosclerosis and the renault's disease 
let's go to the another one disease of the vein again it comes under peripheral vascular disease you can remember it by the uh, mnemonics called tpvd so p stands for pulmonary embolism another p stands for the phlebitis or the thrombophlebitis v stands for the varicose veins and the d stands for deep vein thrombosis very important to remember arterial surgery so physiotherapy after the arterial surgery so we need to remember the name of the arterial surgery so mainly there are five arterial surgery and i would like you to remember this by the terminology the mnemonics called sad e s a d sad okay, you are very sad and e e so let's see s stands for sympathectomy a stands for arterial graft d stands for direct suture e stands for embolectomy and another e stands for end arterectomy sympathectomy arterial graft direct suture embolectomy and end arterectomy uh, here i found most of the time the students are not able to remember this in the proper way that is the layers of the skin though they are aware about the name of all the layers so layers of the skin from inside to outside you can remember by the terminology mnemonics called gsglc gs general secretary of any college just remember gs means stratum germinativum s means stratum spinosum okay then stratum granulosum stratum lucidum and stratum corneum the stratum is common in all the five terminology you have to just remember the name by the mnemonics g s g l c okay germinativum spinosum granulosum lucidum and the corneum so very easy to remember layers of skin from inside to outside let's go to the another mnemonics mode of entry of suction catheter sun okay remember by the mnemonics called sun s s stands for suction via tube O stands for oropharyngeal suction and N stands for nasopharyngeal suction. So very easy to remember here. Suctioning we can do it through the tube. Okay, it can be endotracheal or the tracheostomy tube. Oropharyngeal suction. Okay, through the duodenal airway or uh, directly into the mouth and N is for nasopharyngeal suction. Okay, you are inserting the catheter into the nose. Let's go to the another way. Hazards of airway suction. When we do the airway suction, what are the hazards? So mnemonics is CART. C A R T. CART H. So basically, uh, try to understand. C stands for cardiac arrhythmia. A stands for atelectasis. R stands for risk of infection. T stands for trauma. And H stands for hypoxia. Cardiac arrhythmia, atelectasis, risk of infection, trauma, and hypoxia. Thank you very much.